Anyway, hello YouTube. Lovely beautiful day, Friday the 5th of May. Uh, on my way to work. All these rescue ambulances dotted around are because um, it's the Manx, I think it's the classic rally. But anyway, there's a rally on this weekend. Uh, some nice rally cars, that's for sure. Um, funnily enough, rallying is the one sport I wish I'd got into. Not in terms of watching, actually, in terms of doing. Um, I do, I, th I find the skills of rally drivers, they make, um, oh yeah, just as well flicking go for it as well. U turn in the middle of the road. Um, yeah, far more skillful than Formula One or anything like that. I mean, Formula One drivers, quite honestly. Do they drive the cars anymore? Uh, yeah, okay, they've got to be physically fit and all that sort of thing, but. Uh, and super strong neck muscles, all that sort of thing. But. Do they actually drive the cars anymore? Are they more skillful than maybe a kid in a go-kart? I'm not actually sure they are, to be honest. There's someone jumping the lights. They love it. They love it, love it, love it. Uh, Villa Marina. That's where they have uh, concerts and the like. C is a little bit choppy. It is breezy again today, but as you can see from the sky, not a cloud in sight. Lovely and sunny. So I uploaded a couple of videos last night explaining what's going on with my, uh, why I haven't been uploading lately. And I also did my 3000 mile review and a very short clip of some rally cars. Nothing exciting with the rally cars, they were basically at the grandstand getting prepared or uh, going through scrutineering. Running a little bit late today. But it's Friday, so got the weekend ahead. And the weather is supposedly going to be nice still. And on Sunday, it might actually not even be windy. <gasps> oh, no wind. Peg grinding down. I don't know why I'm getting that side down. I suppose roundabouts are more prevalent. You don't go around the roundabouts the wrong way. So this side, the other side, I haven't really uh, ground down the peg much. In any case, tide is in, show the boots are all nicely uh, floating. So this is the old Castle Town Road and it has some rather spectacular views. Along here is where you get to uh, Port Soderick and Port Grenick. And obviously eventually it meets up with the new Castle Town Road. There are certainly some big um, houses and buildings along this road. That's for sure, for sure, for sure. If 
makes for a pleasant ride to work. over there which is the other side of the airport you get to that via Castletown there is a very good Lynx golf course over there and there's some really nice walks the lighthouse on there is it used to be owned no one seems to really know now uh, but it was owned by Jeremy Clarkson, the lighthouse on Langness. Um, well, or his or his ex-wife. So, yeah. Cal Crutchlow lives over here somewhere. Nigel Mansell used to. Nigel Mansell actually lived down. He was a special constable in Port Erin. I think the rally is coming down this road at some point over the weekend because there is prohibited standing areas. So I will have to investigate the rally uh, and try and get out and film some of it maybe. really cool is get out with a drone but the wind's a bitch at the moment. There you go, look there's a, the finishing line here. And he wins! Yeah! Ah, the crowd goes wild! Ah. Anyway! Mind you saying that, there might have been... No, I don't think, I don't, I don't think they start today. I'll have to have it butchers. See, unlimited signs there. So straight away I can go full whack and a lorry is turning right. And I bet he lets that car out. Oh no he didn't. Ooh. So, back to my YouTube videos, ah, itchy, I might just upload some of these minor videos just because, just to keep the, um, just to keep you all uh, 
involved just to get videos up there and I'll still be working on the, the longer ones, the vlogs but it's nice just to get some uh, videos up that I don't have to put a huge amount of effort into um, I know that sounds really slack but like I said uh, previously actually video editing does take a long time and each video can take three, four or five hours just to edit it, it, at the end of the day it's much easier to actually film the damn videos than it is to actually get them to a stage where they're worth watching so these ones I can just leave in a little bit of the jibber jabber um, and maybe cut out huge chunks but equally you know where I go a little bit faster or I hit some twisty roads just leave that little segment in and it's a lot less uh, a lot more pain free and it and it's shorter for you guys to watch as well you know some of my vlogs at the moment I've got I got 16 17 18 to make but each of those at the moment I've got like two hours of footage for each one so actually trying to cut that down to even 30 minutes takes some doing um, and then and then there's an argument to say 30 minutes is way too long to keep people's attention uh, so then I have to consider do I do a vlog 16a and another vlog 16b and um, yeah, it just comes a bit of a pain in the ass. So we'll, we'll, we'll play it by ear, but I will try to keep uploading a little bit. Anyway, I'm arriving at work, so uh, I will catch you later.